We're here at the Women's Forum in Deauville with writer and journalist Christine O'Krent. Christine, welcome to NCAD Knowledge. Pleasure. When you started in broadcasting, the emphasis was on affirmative action. Now it's called diversity. What has changed and what still needs to be done? Uh, what has changed is that there are more and more women in the media um, and certainly more and more women um, in the field. It's very striking to me in the newsroom uh, to see that uh, women tend to take more risk than men. And uh, you have many of them you know, on the front line uh, and of course many of them on the air. Uh, even in the United States, which uh, paradoxically, uh, when Katie Couric uh, did the evening news, you know, many countries in the world, starting with France, had done that about 25 years before. That being said, um, it's still very difficult for women to get to the top. And that's true, you know, in many, many other uh, activities. Women at the top are often judged more harshly than men for making hard decisions or taking a hard line. Why do you think this is? Well, I think it is changing, but, but uh, all the same, I think uh, a woman has to prove her legitimacy uh, all the time, uh, however high up she gets to be. Whereas a man, it seems to me, but maybe uh, I'm wrong, uh, a man, once he reaches a certain level, of, uh, you know, responsibility, a few strips there. People don't question him that much. He may be good or not good. He may be kicked out or promoted. But the issue of legitimacy will not be asked as such. Whereas for a woman, uh, you know, people will keep looking at you, including other women, and say, oh, but what is she doing out there? And, and that has to do, of course, and it, I think it's a slow evolution, with the fact that it's still a rarity, uh, women at the top. Um, and I think eventually it will become more natural, but uh, it's still in our society, it's still, in my view, in my experience, uh, a very obvious uh, obstacle. What impact has the multiplication of private outlets had on broadcast journalism? With blogs and different media, now anybody can call themselves a journalist. Uh, do you that's think that, the problem. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> do you think that standards have suffered? Oh yes, of course. But that, it's also a play on words. Uh, there, there has been a huge and uh, you know ongoing technological revolution. What has lost a great deal of uh, use is general news. You find it all over and you don't know what is news and what is, you know, gossip. Unfortunately, what is called journalism is a lot of gossiping and, you know, and sort of uh, bad mouthing people. And, uh, you know, uh, that's unfortunate, uh, particularly in the French press. But um, at the same time, you have people who are on that borderline, they're no journalists at all. It's not because, you know, anyone who doesn't even give his or her name uh, writes a blog, uh, which is of, uh, how could I put it politely, not always that interesting. Um, that's no journalism. It's just um, a lot of chatter and, and uh, a lot of noise. This leads me to my next question. What do you think the future is for the evening news? Do you think that people are going to sit down in front of their TVs and watch it at 8 o'clock? Oh, no, there no, are less and less people who do so because, you know, the, the ways of living have changed and also people get their news all the time from... Uh, and, and, and I think that's very good. I think it's a fantastic uh, progress in the sense that more people, in terms of quantity, uh, are more exposed to news than ever before. Uh, the problem is quality news. It's, it's not so much, uh, you know, the, the ritual, the evening news. That was when there were only two or three channels in every of our countries. Uh, now people have very, very different ways to get their news and particularly the younger generation uh, because they're on their computers all the time. And, uh, and I think that uh, it's a fantastic, uh, fascinating and bewildering uh, phenomenon. Christina Krent, thank you very much for being here with us on NCAD Knowledge. Thank you.